All right, so let's step into a handwritten example of what singular value decomposition does. So first and foremost, I'm gonna draw a diagram here. We have our matrix A, okay? And we're gonna decompose it into three matrices, U, sigma, and then V transposed. Um, so you can imagine like in your head what this would look like. Um, say we have our original matrix A here. We're gonna decompose it into U, uh, decompose it into sigma, and then decompose it into V transpose. Uh, U is going to be a uh, the, our left singular matrix, right? And then sigma is going to be our eigenvalues or the square root of our eigenvalues. Um, so square root of lambda one all the way down to the square root of lambda n. It's a diagonal matrix. And then V transpose, this is gonna be our eigenvectors uh, going along this way um, because it's uh, transposed here. And so um, what we're going to do, uh, and sorry if that may have provided any you know, um, confusion beforehand, um, the eigenvectors are these uh, row vectors of V transposed. Right, so this is an eigenvector. And so when we go to select the principal components, you'll see we'll actually retranspose this so that v, v, the Vs are column vectors when we select our eigenvectors. So um, just wanted to clarify that. I may have not made that clear beforehand. So let's dive into a little example. Uh, that's my diagram. I'm gonna move that out of the way and let's get into a concrete example. Let's imagine we had a two by two matrix, one, one, negative one, one. How we do it, how we do SVD, um, that one little step where we compute SVD, is we first calculate A transpose A. All right, and that is going to be one, negative one, one, one. We first transpose A, and then we multiply it by itself. Okay, and then carrying out this matrix multiplication, we get a uh, diagonal matrix, two, two, and then zero, zero. You see like this times this, uh, the dot product between that and that, sorry, not times, because one plus one is two, and then maybe you carry out the rest yourself. And then next, what we do is we're gonna do an I step, right? First, we need to compute the eigenvalues of uh, A transpose A, um, which is, this matrix over here. And so remember to calculate the eigenvalues, you need to solve this equation, right? Oh, sorry, that's the eigenvectors. I'm sorry. You need to solve this where the determinant is equal to zero. And so lambda i is just a uh, two by two identity matrix with lambdas along the diagonal. Lambda i, uh, a lambda, lambda minus lambda i minus a, is gonna get us this matrix where we have lambda minus two, lambda minus minus two, and then we're gonna have uh, zeros here. And we wanna know the determinant of that is equal to zero. Give myself a little bit more real estate. We're going to be seeing that the determinant of this is going to be uh, lambda minus two, lambda minus two, minus zero times zero is just zero. So zero, we Expand this out for lambda plus four is zero. We need a number. We need a number that when multiplied together, two numbers that when multiplied together give you, give you give you four, but when added together give you negative four, and that's going to be lambda. Uh, that's going to be negative two, and so we do lambda minus two, lambda minus two, and this leaves our eigenvectors being two and two. Um, and so we really have one, we really have more eigenvalues being two and two. We really have only one unique one, but we have two of them. And, uh, you know, in order to get the eigenvectors, okay, we only really need to solve for lambda equals two, right? Because it's going to be the same one. And we're solving this equation. Remember, the one that I accidentally wrote beforehand. And that's going to be uh, lambda minus a, which we know is going to be uh, this matrix right here. But we're plugging in the lambda that we found, the eigenvalue that we found. And you'll note we get a zero matrix. And what's interesting about this is that, um, go and look it up on your own, but when you get to this point where you have this you know, mind-boggling zero matrix, uh, what it really means is that the solution to your, uh, your eigenvectors are just the 
standard basis vectors, you know, this right here. And these uh, two vectors right here, V1 and V2, are your eigenvectors. And so that is uh, an interesting thing to learn. So now we have our eigenvalues, we have our eigenvectors, and we need to build our uh, matrices that we have right now. We have two matrices in our uh, uh, decomposition. We have our sigma. Everything changes once you calculate u. You understand this. Uh, but sigma is the square root of the eigenvalues along the diagonal. That's what I meant by the square root of the, di uh, the eigenvalues. V transposed. It's just going to be this matrix transposed, but this matrix transposed is just itself. And so that makes our life a lot easier. And now we calculate U. So U in this case, how you calculate it, is that it's going to be a two by two matrix um, where the, the first column vector is going to be one over its associated eigenvalue times A, not A transpose A, just regular A, multiplied by its associated eigenvector, right? Because these are all associated with each other. And then the second column vector is going to be the second eigenvalue, or one over the second eigenvalue, sorry, times A, multiplied by its associated eigenvector. And then we're going to carry out this. And if you carry this out, you'll get... 1 over the square root of 2 times 1, 1, this matrix multiplication here. And then you'll get 1 over the square root of 2 times 1, negative 1, with this matrix multiplication there. And then you'll wind up, you'll see that this all is equal to 1, 1, 1, negative 1. I pull the 1 over the square root of 2 out, and this is our U matrix. So now we have all three matrices. That's quite wonderful, right? Um, and let's actually prove that that A is really equal to, let's check our word. This A is actually equal to U sigma V transpose. Well, let's bring it all down. Let's say U is this, right? I'm gonna go ahead and cast, I'm gonna go ahead and broadcast through this one over square root of two into our U matrix. Right, we bring down our sigma, which is our eigenvalue matrix, and we bring down our V transpose. Right, and then doing this first, we're gonna get um, check behind me if you would like. You're gonna get this, and then because think about it, it's like one. Of, okay, we're gonna do the dot product of this with this, and then this is gonna be right here. These two is going to be square root of 2 over square root of 2, that's 1. And then that's going to be 0, and then you get a 1 there, um, just to help out a little bit. And then I'm going to carry this down. Do this out. This should be easy to do. And what do you know is that we got our original matrix A. And, and that's you know very interesting to see. That's a 2 by 2 example. This gets a little bit trickier when you start getting into, obviously, uh, uh, rectangular matrices, we had a 2 by 2 square matrix, and this was all the work that we had to do. So imagine if we had a 4 by 2 or a 3 by 2 or a 5 by 2 or more uh, rectangular matrix uh, or a 2 by 10 or something like that. It, when you get into rectangular matrices, calculating the singular, singular value decomposition of it starts to become labor intensive and requires a lot of stuff. Um, you may have to pull out the Gram-Schmidt process, that sort of thing. And it's, uh, it's just labor intensive. And uh, hopefully um, you're very thankful for computers. Uh, they make these things very quick.